Another celebration going on this month is Oktoberfest. Lots of bars around town are celebrating it. Sandra Spaulding is here with Twin Liquors. You have a, a huge variety here to talk to us about. Yeah, actually, well, I wanted to just kind of give you a really brief history, and thank you for having You're me. You're welcome. Um, Thanks for being here. Yeah, of uh, Oktoberfest and why we drink the kind of beer that we drink. Uh, it's kind of two traditions coming together, and you have, uh, it's actually a celebration of a Bavarian prince's wedding. Right. And so year after year, they had the celebration, but at the same time, we're actually Actually, much earlier, there was a tradition of a mandate uh, by Bavaria to have a certain kind of beer brewed only through the winter months and then harvested in Marz, which is Marzen, which is the style of the Oktoberfest beer. Interesting. And so at that time, the hops are harvested from Munich, and the beer is, uh, you know, fermented and then bottled, and it hangs out bottled throughout the summer, and it's ready to drink in September. Huh. So how convenient. How for, convenient, right. right? It's a little bit hardier beer because it is a little bit cooler during those months? Well, actually, the Oktoberfest style beers tend to be a little bit fruitier than like huh. the pale ales and such, but they can range from being full body to lighter. Uh, they just, uh, the mandate is that they have to be made with hops that come from Munich. And so you'll see beers like St. Arnold, uh, you know, Oktoberfest, right. they're, they're getting their hops from Munich. So okay. the Martin style, anyway, if it's called a Martin style, it has to come from there. So. And now uh, you also were talking about the, one of the reasons they toast the way they do. Yeah, <laughs> it actually, actually yeah. Yeah, I had a friend telling me this yesterday, okay, and I don't know if it's true or not, but it's a great story. We'll go with it. Okay, so <laughs> the Germans, they typically do their toast, and then they slam their beer down, and then they drink it, right? right. Well, they, were, they said that it came out of the tradition of the... Bavarian prince was apparently a little bit dainty, and so he's holding his beer stein up while they're toasting him, and in order to take a drink, he had to set it down before he took a oh, sip. Oh, goodness. And so, just to kind of go along with it, everybody else, out of respect to him, did that, and so that's where they think the traditional How funny. toast, slam, drink. Love that. <laughs> so, no, no pinkies up in that kind of toast. No, right? no, no. <laughs> so. so, talk to us a little bit about what else we have here. Well, we've got the Polliner Oktoberfest, which is a, a really, uh, the kind of original Oktoberfest. Of course, I I mentioned the St. Arnold, um, and this is uh, actually a autumn, uh, Breckenridge autumn beer. It's not an Oktoberfest beer, but the styles that we're drinking, you know, this time of year, and then of course we're going to be leading into the winter beers too. And so, if you want to taste most of these beers, and maybe even you know taste some other Oktoberfest beers, we're doing a huge Oktoberfest tasting today. That's right. Today out at uh, the Hill Country Gallery, it starts at noon today, and goes until six. There it is, right there. Oktoberfest last shot beer below. Out. So get your beer while it's available. Thank you so much for yeah. being here. Sandra, it's great to see you as always. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank oh, you for having no, you're me. you're sweet. <laughs>